a quadratic trinomial in x with coefficient of x squared equal to 1 is a perfect square trinomial if the constant term is the square of one half of the coefficient of x. x plus k squared is x plus k times x plus k. Notice that when we multiply them together, we get x times x, x squared, the first term. The last term is k times k, k squared. The middle term will be kx plus kx, which is 2kx. Now, remember, if we divide 2k by 2, we get k. And when we square it, we get the last term. So the last term is half of 2k squared. So to make x squared plus bx into a perfect square, we will have to take half of b, the coefficient of x, and then square it, which becomes one-fourth of b squared. Add it to the to the expression, we get x squared plus bx plus one-fourth of b squared, which is now a perfect square because it's x plus half of b times x plus half of b, which is x plus half of b squared. Student may review the notes in order to be able to solve trinomials by completing the square. First, we're going to learn how to complete the square. x squared plus 6x. b, the coefficient of x is 6. Half of b is 3, so the missing term is 9. And x squared plus 6x plus 9 is equal to x plus 3 squared. x squared minus 4x. The coefficient of x is negative 4, so b is negative 4. Negative 4 over 2. b over 2 is negative 2. And negative 2 squared is 4 x squared minus 4x plus 4 becomes a perfect square and it's x plus 2 squared. x squared plus 3. b is the coefficient of x, so b is 3. b over 2 is 3 over 2. And then b over 2 squared will be 3 over 2 squared, which is 9 fourths. So to complete the square, we're going to add to x squared plus 3x, 9 fourths. And the perfect square is x plus... 3 over 2, 3 halves, squared. The coefficient of x is negative 1. So b over 2 will be negative 1 over 2. And b over 2 squared will be negative 1 over 2 squared, which is positive one-fourths. So to complete the square, we're going to, to complete the square, we're going to add to x squared minus one x one-fourth. And the perfect square will be x minus one-half 
squared to solve x squared plus 10x plus 8 equal to 0 by completing the square we're going to subtract 8 from both sides we get x squared plus 10x is equal to negative 8 the missing pieces will be filled with 10 over 2 square and 10 over 2 is 5 so 5 squared is the missing piece to complete the square we add it to both sides 5 squared is equal to 25 so the left side is x plus 5 squared and the right side is 25 minus 8, which is 17. Now we're going to take the square root of both sides. And the square root of x plus 5 squared is x plus 5. And it's equal to plus or minus square root of 17. We're going to subtract 5 from both sides and we're done x is equal to negative 5 plus or minus square root of 17 the solution set is negative 5 plus or minus square root of 17